Hello, class. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. <clears throat> Hello. Thank you for coming. Let me put my camera. Okay. Sorry. Can you see my beautiful face now? <clears throat> no, not yet, right? Hmm. There I am. Can you hear me, class? Hello? Hello, class, can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Hi, Sara, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, thank you for saying yes, because I'm saying and nobody's answering, so. But yes, you can hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, thank you. Where's everybody today? Hey, did you see that there's no, vac no. Uh, th there, there's vacation Friday? Yes. Uh, yes. We had but, in a, but in a call center, no oh, problem. Yeah, I, I don't get happy for that. <laughs> yes, but it's, but it's pain means, uh, yeah, but it's. It's double pay. It's double pay. I imagine all the all the owners of the company are very angry in this moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it's true. They must be saying, damn Bukele, I hate Bukele. Yes, it's true. Because they will be obligated to pay double. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like I, I prefer to work on holidays. Mm, yes. You know what I think? Uh, what I think um, this government should do, because I see I see that this government's very um, it's very young, Hoven. So they have a different idea. What they should do is change all the holidays. For example, like in the United States, like <clears throat> like Mother's Day. Mother's Day is the first Monday of 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 May, I think. Pero siempre es the first Monday of. It's not an exact date. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> I I think. And I like that because it's then people know that always in that day is a holiday. Yeah, in in our country, it's in a specific day. It's a specific day. But in another country, uh, is not in a specific date. Yeah, I don't know about other countries. I know that in the United States, like, it's always except Fourth of July because that that. <clears throat> that can't change, but everything it's always um it's always the first Monday or the last Friday of No, but it's the same in, uh, in Colombia and Philippines and another and another country is, is different. It's the same with it's great United States. Really? Oh that's good. Yeah, for example, in uh, India, mm -hmm. is um, it's the same with United States. Oh, really? Yes, it's very it's very same. Oh, okay. Let me open. <clears throat> Okay, so how are you, Miguel? Fine, teacher. And you? I'm okay. How was your day today? Fine. 
tired and celebrate uh, for vacation. <laughs> uh, we will have a class on Friday, teacher. You know, I don't know. That's what I, I think maybe we'll let you know tomorrow oh. because... I'm I'm looking at the at I don't know yet, but um I imagine they will let us know. Okay. Okay. This next class is in Monday. I don't know. Technically until today is Friday. Oh, okay. but I don't know yet. So maybe we will take the next class the next Friday. Oh. I don't know. Maybe. If for reposition. Yes, it would have to be reposition. Okay. To Friday, but uh, two days. No, yes. one day. One day. Yes. No, two. I mean, no, Thursday, two day. Thursday. It would be because Thursday. Tomorrow is. Thursday and Friday, two, two and days. Friday, we have the class. That's what we're saying. We don't. I don't know yet. Okay. I mean, so far today, there's no official communication. But yes, we will have class Friday. Mm -hmm. But we don't know yet. Maybe they will change. Okay. Okay. So, Mayra, are you there? Yeah, teacher. Okay. I'm here. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. Hmm. Where is everybody? Where are we going to get time? Okay, let me see one thing here. Hey, did you did you practice anything today? Like whom, who's? Okay, it's going to be very difficult today to speak alone because I speak and nobody talks. I don't know if you are not listening. I don't know if you can hear me. So I don't know. It's very difficult. Remember that classes virtually are very difficult. De hecho, yo ayer me enojé porque ya, ya, ya no puedo hacer más porque nos regañan a cada rato por las cosas del video. Y yo ya les dije, ya no puedo más decirles, ya voy a aburrir si les digo que pongan video. Pero estas son una de las pocas razones por las que nos piden el video. Porque en muchos videos el profesor solo habla, 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 hace preguntas en general y nadie les contesta. Entonces... No se sabe si no lo escuchan o no están, porque hay clases que quizás de 15 solo hay dos personas en video. Y, y yo me enojé porque le digo, es mala onda, porque le digo, eso ya no está en mi poder. No los puedo obligar. ¿Me entienden? Es, ya no puedo, o sea, ya, ya más no puedo hacer. Entonces, y... Y después vienen las quejas, y you no, know, oh, no, es que no, no entiendo con él, esto y esto y esto y esto. Bla, bla. Pero después uno viene, regresa y ve lo que, I don't know. Pero me tienen a lo que voy, ¿verdad? Entonces, yeah. Yeah, so. pero no, yo me enojo un poco porque se la agarraron con uno. Yo. Hay tanto que uno puede hacer, lo que sí es mala onda, que también nos dicen de que entonces solo participemos con la gente que tiene video. Y hay unos profesores que decían, pero ¿y cómo voy a hacer si tengo 15 personas y a veces solo dos o tres personas con video? No puedo ignorar 12. Oh, y es oh. cierto. Es, es... Pero a veces pasa eso. Ok, uh, Juan. No contesta Juan. Ok, um, Jimmy. No contesta Jimmy. Mm. Eh, y así pasan. 
Y entonces, y lo dicen, y no es por eso, sino que dicen que es mala onda por los que sí tienen video. Entonces, en todo ese tiempo que le están preguntando a Juan, a Jimmy, a Rosa, a María, a todos los lo que no contestan, les están quitando el tiempo a Jimmy, a, a Miguel. Ok. Do you see my screen? Yes. yes Thank you. All right. So it says, my mouse is funny today. I don't know what's wrong with my mouse. Okay. It says, knowledge check. Read the following problems. Decide which clauses are relative and which are non-clauses. For example, do you see one that says, the first picture here says, The thing that I hate is when kids ride their scooters on the sidewalk. One thing that bothers me is when my friends don't show up on time for things. Sometimes that bugs me. Sometimes that bugs me people Oh, no, something that bugs me is people who have two seats on a crowded bus. Non-close. And I can't read the next one because no se me quita la opción. Okay. The thing I can't stand is co-workers who believe in phone ringings, who leave phone ringings on their desk. You know, one thing I, I, I don't like is when you are in a mall and you see a complete family walking in front of you, but maybe the family is five and they're walking like in a line. You know, like those in a line and, and very slow, very slow. And you're like, oh man, excuse me. Hello, excuse me. Because you see like five people walking. Okay, number one. Can you do number one, Miguel Angel? When kids ride the scooters of the sidewalk. Sidewalk. Uh, sidewalk. It's non clause. It's a non clause. Okay. Number two, that I hate. Relative, a relative clause. Okay, Ed Milton, number three, please. Who leave their cell phones ringing on their desk? Non clause. Non clause. Okay. Sarah, one more time, number four, please. That bugs me. That bugs me is um relative um just re relative clauses. <laughs> so relative clause. Okay. Miguel, what do you think number five is? When my friends don't show up, show up on time for things. What is that? Mm, uh, non close. Non close. So now okay. close. That mm. bothers me. What is that? That's bother. Relative That's close. Relative close. That I can't stand. What is that? Relative clause. Who take up two seats on a crowded bus? Non clause. Non clause. Let me see if they're all correct. Okay. Who take oh, up yeah. two seats? It's a relative clause. Relative clause. Number three relative is a relative clause. clause. But this period is very confused because what it is. Use? It is. I understand you. It is. In this case, The most important thing is that you know and you understand what this is. One thing that I hate, one thing that I don't like. Yes, because uh, in the number three and the number five, um, it has a uh, relative clause. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Maybe the examples were not the best. Okay, now we're in 2.3. It says, in this section, participants will be able to use phrases to talk about annoyance. Do you know what is annoyance? Annoyance. Annoy I, annoyance. I don't remember. No. Because... Like a mosquito, like bzzz, 
at night, at night. Annoyance. Ano, molesto? Yes. Oh. Ah, annoyance. O cuando se mete un chicote en el cuarto. You're sleeping. It's like, where is it? And you turn on the lights and you can't see. It's annoying. <clears throat> okay, so we'll see what drives me up the wall. Do you know what this means? Yes, it's totally something that is totally makes me angry, crazy. It's because drive drives me up is a phrase of birth. Hey, good, Sara. Very good. You remember, yes. So drive up the wall is something that makes me crazy. That, oh. Okay, so let's see what this means. Right. I'm um, sorry, I can hear the video. I don't use so. I see. You know, something that drives me crazy is waiting for people. What drives you crazy? Verb. Drive. Can you hear now? Make. Yes. Crazy. Yes. On yes. someone's nerves. Someone crazy, someone down, someone mad, someone sick, someone out of the wall, someone's blood boil, someone's goat, under someone's skin. I will give you a minute. Try to make all the combinations possible. They have to make sense. Once the time is up, I will show you the phrases. Phrases to talk about annoyance. Drive someone crazy. Drive someone up the wall. Get on someone's nerve. Get under someone's skin. Get someone down. Get someone's goat. Make someone mad. Make someone sick. Make someone's <coughs> blood boil. I quit this again. I don't know why. Can you hear that? Maybe the celebration started. Okay, listen. <laughs> drive someone crazy and drive someone up the wall is the same thing. Okay. Yeah. What What do you think that means? I have a question. And um, when they use drive me up, it's the same I when I use get get on or get under. Excuse me. No, no, there's a little difference. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, like, okay. That's right. We're, we're going to 
excuse me, drive someone crazy and drive someone up the wall is the same thing. Crazy, like what drives, but, but it's really not, not, it's not very serious. For example, traffic drives me crazy. Yes. Do you understand? Traffic drives me crazy. Yes. Yes. Okay. But, teacher. Yes. But dry, dry. It is a specific word. Dry. In normally, to dry is conducir. Sara, can you explain? Yes, drive eh, is a phrase of verb. Es como, um, es una phrase of verb que puedes usar en, por ejemplo, la drive someone crazy o traffic drive me, cra drive me crazy. En español es el tráfico me vuelve loco. Yes, son sinónimos, son items. ¿Se acuerda que lo hicimos el lunes, creo? Or last week? It was last week, I think. The items. The last week. Milton, yeah. these are expressions. Si usted está viendo drive como conducir, literalmente, no va a entender esto. Yes, yes. These are expressions. Yeah, it's expression different, different uh, 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 normally better. Yes, okay. exactly. In this, case, in this case, okay. So drive, drive someone crazy. Um, do you remember that song? She drives me crazy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's like from the 80s. Hey, exactly, yeah. She drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. And and this is not very serious, okay? This is not, and this can be as the, like sarcastic, like, oh man, she drives me crazy. It's like, I love her. She's so beautiful. She drives me crazy. Yes, but I can I can use only someone crazy is ne or, or is necessary drive someone crazy. No, uh, the the here is drive crazy, drive um, me crazy, drive him crazy, drive people crazy. Ah, uh, okay, yes, okay, okay. The, the important here is drive crazy. Yes. Okay. Remember, she drives me crazy, like no one. There's a song, a very famous song from the 80s. Okay, drives. Okay. Now, um, Irena, which actor drives you crazy? Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves drives me crazy. Keanu Reeves drives me crazy. All right, good. What about you, Mayra? Which famous person drives you crazy? Mm, Emma Watson drives me crazy. Who? Emma Watson. Emma Watson? You like you like her, Emma Watson? Uh, so, so. <laughs> okay, but in this, remember, Mayra, in this case, it's physically. Okay. Okay. It's not. It's not artistically, and this is like physically. Right? Like, like for me, it's like oh, Scarlett Johansson drives me crazy. Man. Me too. Me too. <laughs> oh man, yes. It's a beautiful woman. Oh, she's so, and she's a great actress too. Yes. And um, Penelope Cruz too. I like. I like Penelope Cruz. She's beautiful too. Gal Gadot. Who? Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. La Mujer Maravilla. What's her name? Gal Gadot. The, the new one. Yes. Yeah, she's beautiful. She's beautiful too. Okay. <clears throat> now, so drive me crazy. It can be an expression for something good or bad. You know, like, oh man, sometimes, sometimes my son drives me crazy. 
Okay, now drive someone up the wall is cuando alguien ya me hostigó. You're driving me up the wall. Shut up. You know, like when you are arguing with somebody, like, hey, stop, man. You're driving me up the wall. So I'm driving up the wall. Estoy llegando a ese límite. Crash. People, people, noise driving up some up the wall. Yes, like for example, neighbors with with a strong music, they drive me up the wall. Okay, now let's look at the next one. Get on my nerves. No. Do you know that expression, get on my nerves? Get on my nerves. Hmm? Como altera mis nervios. Mm -hmm. That means I don't hate that person. No es que me caiga mal, solo que oh, he, that person gets on my nerves. Yes. The slowly person. Mm -hmm. Like in, in El Salvador, many politicians get on my nerves. Maybe all the politicians get on my nerves. Yes, can you give me an example of get on my nerves? Uh, Juan Jose? In my case, get on my nerves, are uh, more cycled. <laughs> yeah, the, the motorcyclists. Yes. <laughs> they get on my nerves, yes, it's true. It's true, it's very, very true. Okay, now get under someone's skin. Do you know who Conan uh, McGregor is? Yeah, yeah. McGregor? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who is McGregor? The fight UFC. Yes. Have you seen his fights before? He talks. He talks very bad about people. Can you hear me, class? Yes. Okay, McGregor, before a fight, he talks bad about the other person. He talks bad about the other person's family, wife, country. Um, why yes, do you but... why do you think he does that? Mm, but I don't have an idea who is McGregor. He's a fighter. He's a fighter. Okay, uh -huh. forget McGregor. Let's say Jose. Jose is a fighter. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Jose is going to fight Carlos, correct? Carlos, uh, our classmate. Okay. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, Carlos X. Okay. Uh, and Jose. Jose versus Carlos tomorrow night. But Jose is doing a strategy. He's talking very bad about Carlos. Jose is saying that Carlos' wife is a prostitute that the son is not his, that his family are terrorists, that Jose is, right? that Carlos is a marero. Why do you think Jose is doing that? He's making, a, I don't know how it's called, but something so psychological. It's psychological, yes. So he is getting under his skin. Ah, okay. That is the expression. Okay. Y es cierto, eso hacen los luchadores. Este McGregor hace eso. 
Yes or no, Milton? Yes. It's a, it's a problem because in many, many fights, uh, the other the other fighter is quiet is uh, is warm yes yes and the strategy is functional for him uh, that's a good question everybody has a different strategy but the last time there was a very very good fight it was mcgregor versus khabib and khabib was like the champion, nunca perdió. And he is very, he is from Russia. A Russian, yes. Uh -huh. But uh, Khabib is a very, very, very formal man. His religion, or his, sus principios, his principles, mm -hmm. was his father. And wow. in the interviews, McGregor attacked him. Let us see. Oh, your country, your terrorist, and this, and boom. And, and Kabi was just quiet. The Very day of the, smart. but the day of the fight, oh my God, Kabi almost killed him. Wow. Mm. It was it was good. Kabi won. Yes. Okay. You have to see you have to see that in 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 YouTube. Okay. There was one time that McGregor le dijo, "Hey, calmate. It was only business." Mm -hmm. and, and Khabib said, no, man. Yes. <laughs> and here it's not business. Khabib, really. I agree with Khabib. <laughs> oh, yeah. I will send you that link if you want. Send me uh, after class. And it's it's a very good. But going back to the point, McGregor, <laughs> his strategy is to get under someone's skin. skin. Mm -hmm. So do you understand that expression now? Get under your skin? Yes. Yes? Yes. When you are arguing with somebody, I'm going to say, hey, hey, don't be quiet, man. Don't let that person get under your skin. Mm -hmm. Because if that person gets under your skin, it worked. The strategy worked. It can compare a, 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 phrase, a phrase that we use, like, uh, buscando lo que no se te ha perdido. It could be like that. No, no, it no, would be something like, piel. yes. Uh -huh. Yes, I know, but um, yes, I think. No, yes. I think it would be a different expression, something yes. like. Um, yes, there is. No dejes que te llegue lo que te ha dicho. Uh-huh. Que te no afecte. Uh-huh, exactly. Something like that, uh -huh. yes. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Que no te afecte lo que te dijo. Something mm -hmm. like but, but there is an expression Eso, in Spanish. No le hagas caso. Uh -huh. No le hagas caso. Si le haces caso, es porque no. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. esa se usa bastante. Get, get under someone's skin. Mm -hmm. Normally, teacher, is a get on someone's skin is a usual a Muhammad Ali. He's a chow man. Yeah, he was another. He was another. <clears throat> I I have I have family members that I fight with, and I get under their skin. Because, question, teacher. Yes, JJ. I in case of um get under someone's skin is like uh, to be empathic. No. When you get someone un under someone's skin, let me give you an example. Um, L let, me, let me give you an example. I have a cousin, Prima. Um, uh -huh. My cousin, she, is, she has three children. She's not married. She's full of tattoos. She lives in the United States. And her husband is married. Yes, but that's normal. I mean, but she, I, okay, so you fail, but she has a happy family. You know, she lives with her boyfriend. She has three kids. She's full of tattoos. She smokes and she drinks. And her boyfriend, su novio, porque no está casada, he is married but separated. Yes. So the funny thing is that this cousin, she criticizes me 
Because I am not religious. Porque eso sí, she's a very big Catholic. <laughs> you know. But it's like a comprehension in that? No. Listen to, uh, listen to my story and then you will understand. Yes, yes, I understand. Okay, so when my, when my cousin talks to me, she says, but you're crazy, man. You have to believe in the Virgin. I'm like, no. Why? But I know what she's trying to do. So what I do is like what Irena said. Psychologically, I attack her. And I say, but you, you are a fornicator. Your children are bastards. <laughs> I am not calling your children bastards. <laughs> you know? So I get under her skin because ella empezó. So she wants to she wants to offend me, I offend her. So well, you know, she tells me, and I said, okay, you're right, but why do you talk to me about religion? You are not married, so you live with a man, so you're a fornicator. You have children and in, in not in a married couple, so your children son bastardos, bastards. And she gets angry. Ah. I said, I'm sorry, it's not my rules, it's the Bible. <laughs> so if if you preach the Bible, be a good Christian before you try to correct my life. So at the end, <laughs> so what happens? I got under her skin. Teacher. Yes? Is uh, like to retain someone or upset. Or not? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Let me give you a good example. Bukele. Eh, hay una entrevista de Bukele con, con Moisés Urbina. He, Bukele, psychologically, he got under Bur, Moisés Urbina's skin. Porque Buk, eh, Urbina, remember before Bukele was president? Hay una que le dijo, vamos a tocar tres temas, el primero este, el segundo, el tercero, y por último, y le dice, Bukele, ah, pues son cuatro, no tres. No, es que yo sé que son, <laughs> pero se vio que se molestó Urbina. And Bukele was like very relaxed. So, but it was a psychological. So, en pocas palabras, to get under someone's skin is intentional. Yes. It's intentional. Okay? Lo es a propósito. Okay, JJ? Okay. Yes, it's like okay, when thank you. You, you, want, you want to affect that person. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y generalmente pasa cuando alguien le quiere ahuevar a usted <laughs> y usted le sale peor. So... In politics, se ve eso. Eh, en Doctor Apolo. Caso cerrado. That's funny. Okay, so do you understand get, get under someone's skin? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mani, mm -hmm. yes. So get, if get under someone's skin pretty much is you are going to get that person angry. Mm-hmm. And if, but it's, but you're doing it for a reason. There's a reason. If I get that person angry, why do I want to get that person angry? Because I don't know. Because the person uh, maybe lost uh, its control. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or maybe Teacher, that person uh, started. <laughs> Teacher, mm -hmm. yes, Mosey. Or in Spanish is, is chilapear a alguien. Yeah, okay. Chilatear. Yes. Jugar. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> Chilatear. Yes, it's true. Which, which phrase? Which phrase? What do you mean, which phrase? Get under uh, someone's skin is chilatear. Uh, 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 chilatear okay, is Salvadorian. <laughs> yes. I imagine it comes from the expression. Chilatear, right? O sea, hacerlo así. <laughs> In my hand, I have a person. Yeah. 
una persona que hay un reportero se llama Jorge Ramos. He is very good, but very bad. He, eh, si ven las entrevistas de él, vean cuando entrevistó a Nicolás Maduro o a, o a Donald Trump. Did you see that? Do you know, do you know um, this, ese periodista, Jorge Ramos? Yes. Yes, I think Donald Trump uh, made something. No, but you know what? I don't like Donald Trump. I don't like Donald Trump, but Donald Trump was correct. Because there was a, a, a news, era a, a news, estaba haciendo una conference. Mm -hmm. And then Jorge Ramos says, I have a question. Why do you build the wall? And then Donald Trump told him once, wait for your turn. Wait for your turn. And Ramos said, go like, why? Why do I have to wait for your turn? Because another, another woman was talking, you know? Mm -hmm. And then Donald Trump le dijo otra vez, shut up, wait for your turn, man. O sea, Donald Trump los empezó. And he, he, era como like, why are you building the wall? Wait for your turn. Why are you building the wall? Wait for your turn. Hey, but I think his, he wanted, quería que lo echaran, you know? Yes. So he can show that on the news. Hey, Donald Trump sacó al Latino, you know? I, it was a strategy. Eh, porque eh, he was, eh, lo mismo le hizo Maduro, que lo terminó echando Maduro, creo. <laughs> um, he is, is in strategies, so I think he likes to get under your skin. It's a psychological. All right. Do you, do you, are you the type of person that you let people get under your skin? Yes, I am. Yes. You are? In, in my worries, a uh, co worker uh, get under someone's skin because I say uh, for problems and don't think your ideas is have a problem. More, more, a lot of problems because he's uh, independent uh, for your benefit. Yeah. And you know what? Psychologically, the people that get under your skin are the people that love you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In relation. Psychologically, in the majority of the time, the people that get under your skin is people that love you. Let's say your mother remember your mother so bueno para nada <laughs> oh. like, you know whatever but tanto like sometimes when they're angry you are useless ah ah porque un jefe no le puede decir eso a alguien <laughs> now today he can't but um no servís igual a tu tata so remember no todas las padres but pero han habido casos así right and then Hey, como hay que quedarse callado. So you let you let that person get under your skin. Psicológicamente, desgraciadamente, la gente que hace eso más es la gente que supuestamente ama a uno. Or your friends. Mm -hmm. Or husbands I, to, to teacher, wives. I oh. have an experience with an ex boss, uh -huh. was a lady, and uh, I don't know what my co-worker and me did it because I don't remember, mm -hmm. but uh, he, eh, se dice? No, ya más of, he, he, she called to her office. Mm -hmm. my, she, to my, she, she called us to her she office. Call, she called us to her office mm -hmm. and, and told us, uh, you are, I don't know how it's called in, in English, minus validos mentales. Wow, you are mentally, <laughs> mentally <Yes>. handicapped. Yeah, <laughs> and I, and, and at a time, I don't feel bad or sad because at that moment, I just imagine my brain in a, in a, in a silla de ruedas. 
in a wheelchair. Yes, I my little my my brain in a in a wheel in a wheelchair and Wait. and for me it was funny and and I I didn't pay attention about for the what about your coworker? And my my coworker too when we left the office. And we were laughing about it. And imagine the situation of our brains in a chair, well, in a wheelchair. Well, you know, that's that's very good what you did. Well, I don't know if that was a good thing or bad thing that you did. But, oh, man, if somebody tells me that, <laughs> oh, that person will remember me the rest of her life. <laughs> I will not use physically nothing, but, oh, I... I will make sure that person regrets because it's yes. not fair. She was very angry and I don't remember why, but, but she told us that. Imagine if you record. Yes. <laughs> All right. So remember, get get some get to get under someone's skin is not something very good. Yes, mm -hmm. if you let somebody get under your skin. Yes. Okay. Get someone's goat. Esto, ignorenlo, no se usa. Oh. Sara, Sara, you work you in a... use these phrases to express annoyance in the... Sara, you work in a call space. center, correct? You work in Talos. Yes. So 100% of the time you're speaking English in Talos, correct? Yes. Have you ever heard that expression, get someone's goat? No. Yes, that, that, ignore that. <laughs> yes, don't forget that one. Okay, make someone mad. Sara, um, if, if you want to make your husband mad, how do you make him mad? Crazy? No. Is... No, how did, uh, Oh. Let me give you an example. My my wife, she's a dentist. And when I want to make her mad, I do this. Like imagine I have a beer. Imagine this is a beer. Yes. And if I want to make her mad, I do this. Uh, and she goes, don't do that. Aunque todo eso ya le abierto, you know, I, I have opened it. Solo la tapado. You know, just to make her mad. So I tell everybody, I, I tell my family, hey, vean esto, vean esto. <laughs> but the beer is open. <laughs> Watch, look. <sighs> and my wife, oh my God, don't do that, don't do that. Your teeth, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's how I make her mad. And sometimes it's funny. All right. How do you make your husband mad, Sara? Um, okay. He works. And he works uh, in a graveyard. And then we, when he returned to my house, he sleep all day and made mad made me ma <laughs> because I want uh, I want to do some some activity, for example, watch okay, TV. But Yes, Sara, but listen to my question. How do you make your husband mad? Not how does he make you mad? How do you make him mad? Uh, do you understand I, my question? Yes, when I bore him. When you what? When, uh, when I bore him. No, how do you make him mad? You know, like, do you talk too much or do you do you not let him watch movies? Do you check his cell phone? I mean, something that makes him mad, but not, you know, I mean. Yeah, maybe when I when I check uh, the cell phone all the time. Okay. Good. When you check his cell phone or your cell phone? No, his cell phone. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Oh, that makes me mad when I'm eating, when we're eating on the table and my wife is on the cell phone. My yeah. wife or cualquier persona, when I, I don't like that. That really makes me mad when I am in a table 
and people, I don't know, we're having dinner or something and people are, are like doing this. I don't like that. I, I think that's very disrespectful. Makes me mad. Irena, yeah, what, uh, oh, Nelsi, what makes you mad? Sorry, teacher. What makes you mad? Um, when someone lies to me. Okay, when someone lies to me, makes me mad. Yes. Repeat. When someone like lies me to me. Lies to me, okay. And to makes me to make to makes me mad. No. When someone lies to me, makes me mad. When someone lies to me, uh, makes, <laughs> makes makes me mad. Me mad. Very good. JJ. What makes you mad? What makes your wife mad? I no. What makes your wife mad? Um, in this moment, I don't know. True. Si usted no, quiere enojar no, a su esposa, si usted quiere enojarla ahorita, ¿qué haría? If you want to make your wife mad in this moment, what would you do? Mm, my wife doesn't uh, make mad for nothing. <laughs> so if you put if you put your shoes on the table, she's okay. Le dice, mi amor, dejaste los zapatos en la mesa donde comemos. No, but isn't that extremely? <laughs> No, but I mean, help me, class. I mean, you know, help me. Ayúdenme, denme ejemplos. I I can't believe your wife doesn't get mad. Everybody gets mad sometimes. Hmm? In my case, my, uh, uh, I have problems. Uh, uh, for example, my cats uh, bring the chairs is a problem. Gets you mad? My cat. Your cats get you mad. Unrain my chair. When they ruin your chair, yeah, that gets you mad. Yes. Okay. My son mad. Is a problem. Okay, my another example is when my cat crash me, maybe my. <laughs> when my cat crash crash me, I don't understand. Que cuando me muerde o cuando me aruña crash me. Scratches. Crash, uh, crashes Scratches. me. Scratch. Uh, scratch. Scratch me. Yes. Makes you mad? Yes. <laughs> me, cats in general make me mad. I hate cats. Sorry. Sorry, cat lovers. But <laughs> I don't like cats. Yes. Hey. <laughs> no, I, no I, I don't hate cats. Simply, simply, I don't like cats. I don't because oh, I'm, very, yeah. I'm very allergic to them. I don't have dogs. <laughs> number one, I'm allergic. And number two, they're boring. No. Really? They're mm. not boring. I never had an animal before, but I prefer a dog. A dog, come here, boy. You know, a, a dog you can play, but a cat is boring. <laughs> I don't know, but maybe, maybe I, 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 nev I have never had a, a cat, that's why. So maybe, oh my God, I found money. Look in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. Okay. In my in my old in my old uh in my old time, I I didn't have a cat because my to my um uh, because my mother I when I hate the animal and but it's my first time and I have a cat, but it's very it's very funny because he's very sweet. He's very fluffy, and but when uh, he is three months, just yeah, three months years old, and wait, he's three months or three years? No, 
I don't know, three or three months or three years. I don't know. I don't remember, but but this um I think younger or baby. I don't know. But... I I used to have a I used to have a coworker. She was a very very bad person. Mala, she was in 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 Talus. She was, I don't know if she's still there though, but she was a very bad person. Excuse me. Yes, JJ. He's my, he's my cat. He's my cat. Wait. You can uh, see? No, you don't have a camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Excuse me, I have a yes, question. JJ. Yes, JJ. Um, almost finished the class today and yes. tonight, and um, in the in the point oh, in the point it's next point nice two point five. I didn't understand Bad. some some question, and else uh, maybe Friday we don't have a class. Maybe here, do you see the answers? Yes, yes. In the case, uh, for example, um, part two. Okay. First, number one, esto de que no hay clases, eh, el sueto el viernes fue a última hora, right? Mm -hmm. Entonces, no nos han notificado nada. Creo que es más probable, probably, that maybe there will be no class Friday, and maybe it will be until next Friday. Okay. <laughs> But but I don't know yet. I think they will notify on the chat on the team. Okay. In the, in the university communicate for that the class is a suspension. Yes. No. You know, and I'm 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 very sure, but I'm not one hundred percent positive. That is the same here, but I don't know. So like. Yeah. Maybe they, they are going to communicate tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Or in fact, in the morning. In fact, tomorrow I will ask in the first thing in the morning, hey, what's up, Friday? Mm -hmm. Yes, because we're supposed to finish the whole lesson two between today and tomorrow, which it was okay. only one, two, three, four, five, six more steps. Mm -hmm. But um, if, if we don't do it Friday, we can do this Monday, definitely. Oh, okay. 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 So hold on before we go. Make Matt. Hey, what happened to my? What happened to? Okay. So, oh, oh. Um, I imagine this this new law today. It made mad <laughs> a lot of business owners. Dueños the Negocios. The news today made them mad. Or no? What do you think? No, because the people that has a business uh, for enjoy or for example, restaurants and something like that, they are going to be happy because the people will spend money to and on the long weekend, I guess. Yeah. But uh, but you know what I think I think big big companies will not be affected yes. but medium small companies maybe yes and because in our case because we work with uh, technical support and we have a something task uh, schedule yeah because imagine like imagine if you're a doctor and you have a clinic. Mm -hmm. And in the clinic, you have an assistant, a secretary, mm -hmm. and a person that cleans. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh my God, Friday, I have to pay them double. Or I don't, or they don't come to work, but I pay them anyway. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So maybe this decision, maybe this news will make many people mad. Many small business or uh, medium or small business angry mm, yes. yes no han notado rich companies rich people what is this on rich <laughs> they open like I, I was watching i was reading super selectos in, in vacation and and what pasó agosto 
August vacation? I was reading, Super Selectos will be opening at six in the morning for August vacation. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow, that's, that's why these people have money. Because they say, hey, like, like maybe like what Irena said, you know, more people will come. If more people have vacation, more people shop. But then you go to the small business, you know, Señora, que hace pupusa? La vuelta, va a hacer pupusa hoy. No, fíjese que hoy no abrimos. <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? It's like, <laughs> really? Yes, it's true. Yeah, you know, that's when they should open because everybody, nobody likes to cook on, on holidays, you know. Yes. ¿Qué hace carne asada? Y van a abrir, no, mañana descansamos. <laughs> <laughs> And I tell my wife, reason. yeah, I tell my wife, you see, that's what I go so that's why the rich is rich and was that's why the poor is yes. poor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh. Okay, so um please be uh JJ thank uh, everybody. It's gonna be in your WhatsApp. Okay, yes. All right. Okay. Y otra cosa, make me mad. The contrary is makes me happy. We're gonna we are going to do that too. Okay. Like, what makes you happy? My cats make me happy. Maybe Sarah will say, my cats make me happy. My children makes me happy. Vacation makes me happy. Yes. The beach makes me happy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that is good. Yes. Okay, yeah, then. The movie, the movie makes me happy. Watching movie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all movies. You know, me shopping alone makes me happy. Like, for example, I like going to like Los Premiums, esas tiendas de segunda. Mm -hmm. No tanto por la ropa, voy por like electronics or I don't know, different things. Mm -hmm. But I like to go alone. You know, and that makes me happy because I like, ¿qué es esto? What is it, you know? And I like, I like invent, like, and I buy things. But if, if I go with my wife, I go, vámonos. It's like, go. ¿Para qué vas a comprar eso? No, o sea, hoy ya están como, ella me aburrí, vámonos. It's like, oh, man. <laughs> you know, I don't enjoy it. I, I, alone makes me happy. <laughs> oh, a good cup of coffee makes me happy. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. Okay, class. And thank you very much. I'll see you maybe Friday, if not Monday. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Teacher. Monday, teacher. Thank you. Bye bye. Good evening, bye. everybody. Bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.